Yeah, I need some water. I've been fucking making a bunch of videos at once. My mouth is getting dry. Mm, that's us for this time. Ugh. How you guys doing? All right, got a quick video here for you guys. Now I'm messing around with uh, Da Vinci here, and uh, yeah, I'm actually liking it. The more I'm using it, the more I'm learning about it. So uh, you guys want me to teach you everything I learned, so here's one of those situations, right? Now, um, the cool thing about Da Vinci is that you are able to, say, so go to Da Vinci Resolve, you go Keyboard Customization, and you get this layout, right? You can set up a lot of cool uh, uh, shortcuts for your keyboards, right? Learn to question yourself when you're editing. See, so you click on the audio, you right click. And you go to a normalize audio level to get this option, right? Try to ask yourself, is there a shortcut to like normalize audio levels, right? So yeah, you can go to the DaVinci Resolve again, go to keyboard customization. Then you can search, just say like, I don't know, normalize. And sure enough, it says right here, normalize audio levels, right? So learn to get in the habit of like questioning if there's a shortcut for a certain function that you can do, right? While you're editing, if there's a quick way to do it, that way you can say your shortcuts, right? Figure out what the shortcuts are available for you when you're editing. And then you'll customize the shortcuts according to your uh, keyboard layout, depending how you feel comfortable using the keyboard, right? One thing I want to show you is basically that I, I started messing around with is like, say if I make a cut here, right? Phone has been the pain in the ass. I make a cut. And then, like I said, I trim that, right? Now, let's say I just want to add like an image here up to this point. I don't know, I'm talking about something, right? So I'm going to drop an image here of my, me and my girlfriend. I'm talking, I'm talking, right? Uh, to share with you guys, right? So say like, you know, I move up to this point and I want to extend this to this edit, right? I can do that manually, but actually I found out an easier way. You can actually select the edit here and I hit a command and it extends for me, right? And the cool thing is, so we go to like the keyboard customization, just like uh, type in extend and you want to look for trim, extend, edit. Um, I forgot what the default was for this key, for this shortcut to be honest, but you want to select extend, edit. And for me, I put it to shift X, right? On my keyboard. Now, the cool thing about that is that if, um, again, say I have a bunch of edits here, you know, say I make an edit there, trim that, you know, I make another edit here, go up, trim. So it's easier because now I can just drop this, say, you know, I want it here, you know, and I have a shortcut where I can just jump around my cuts here. If I want to go here, I can hit my shortcut. I got to select the edit first. That's something to keep in mind. Once you see these double little arrows selected, it turns green, hit my shortcut. Boom, instantly, right? It's just a lot faster instead of clicking and dragging. You're able to do that, but you know, shortcut wise, that's a lot faster, right? And it goes back and also works the other way around. So if you select this, hit the same shortcut, it extends back, right? It's just a lot easier so you can just select this shortcut and boom, it extends over here to your image, right? And you can do that with clips as well, like uh, with video clips, um, as long as you have enough footage to do that, right? See, it just keeps going. <laughs> as long as this is highlighted green, if it's not, it doesn't work, but when you select the edit, you know, it does it for you. So I think that's kind of neat, right? So anyways, that's it. Quick little video. Here, of course, you want to buy me a coffee. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.